We have to hold people to account. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're going liberal or conservative. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. Good journalism. They're well, lying I, at your network about people taking human drugs versus drugs from it, veterinary. It, calling it a horse deworm is not a flattering thing. I get it's that. It's a lie. It's a lie on a news network, it, it, and it's a lie that's a willing... That's that's a lie that they're conscious of. It's not a mistake. Yeah, they're unfavorably framing it as veterinary medicine. One of those drugs he mentioned, ivermectin, is something more often used to deworm horses. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. Biden secret emails, more shadiness involving Hunter Biden. For all we know, these emails are made up. If those emails we just talked about are connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort, this is a classic example of the right wing media machine. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. The face to face encounter, the man, Nathan Phillips, apparently wanted to defuse the tension, and he walked up to do exactly that. And surely the kid, Nick Sandman, he doesn't seem to be afraid, but he did make a choice, and that was to make it into a standoff. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. So it took a 17-year-old kid to come in and do what was right. That's vigilantism. That's not what people are not supposed to be vigilantes. We're not supposed to be taking um, justice into our own hands. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. Christine, Laura, what you're seeing behind me is one of multiple locations that have been burning in Kenosha, Wisconsin, over the course of the night, a second night. What you are seeing now, these images came and come in stark contrast to what we saw over the course of the daytime hours in Kenosha and into the early evening, which were largely peaceful demonstrations in the face of law enforcement. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. I never covered my brother's troubles because I obviously have a conflict. And there are rules at CNN about that. I never misled anyone about the information I was delivering or not delivering on this program. I never attacked nor encouraged anyone to attack any woman who came forward. As I've said, we have rules here at CNN that prevent me from reporting on my brother. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. Absolutely despicable. Hopefully police uh, run this down pretty quickly. The circumstances wow. is horrific. Jesse Smollett was viciously beaten, and we know it was a hate crime. Jesse Smollett had a noose on his neck just this week. This is American history. This is America in 2019. We are doing what we do, and that's good journalism.